One Alcatraz special. Yeah, remind me to add big metal files to my list of things I don't want to find in my food. <clears throat> Bring us some sodas or you'll get a mouth full of knuckles, you dirty mug. What's up with Tish? She's been watching old detective movies every night. That's how they talk in those things. Yeah, quit giving me the fish eye, you jokers. Man, people in old movies talked weird. I think she said something about fish. Hey, Carve, I have a little piece of info you may find interesting. Proceed. Oh, you know that girl, Christy? Yeah, she's a total pain. Well, I heard her say she maybe kind of likes you. A total pain, yet somehow fascinating. Tino here. Ever notice how someone can be totally awful, but then when you hear they maybe kind of like you, suddenly they don't seem so bad? Well, you're noticing it now. Check out Carver. His eyes are so glazed, they're making me hungry for donuts. Perhaps I haven't given this Christy enough credit in the past. After all, she's a woman of excellent taste. Oh yeah, he's hooked. That dame's wrapped him up and shipped him first class to Suckerville. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, this girl Christy maybe kind of likes me. I see. What's wrong with her? Hi, Carver. It's Christy. Oh, hey, Christy. Buzz off. No way. I'll give you a dollar. Forget it. I'll tell Mom what happened to her leather pants. I'm gone. So? Not much. I've just been thinking of you. Oh, really? Tell me, Carver, are you a romantic? I'm so romantic it'd make you sick. The whole deal. Long walks in the moonlight, candlelight dinners, those, you know, little candies with the words printed on them, the kind of thing. If you were my boyfriend, could I call you Pickle Toes? You can call me Pickle Toes anytime you want, baby. <laughs> Sweet heaven, no. Pickle Toes? <laughs> can you believe it? You're never gonna hear the end of this one, Carver. <laughs> Curse you, three-way calling! Curse you! Ooh, the old three-way calling trick. Clever and fiendish. That no-good two-bit dame played you for a chump. Yeah, rough break, pickle toes. Yeah. Hey, this isn't sunscreen, it's glue. Well, that's just perfect. Carve, your girlfriend's here. What? After what she did, she's waving at me? Aren't there laws against this kind of thing? Oh yeah, they're enforced by the Federal Bureau of Waving. That does it. Just let it go, Carver. Yeah, cool your jets, Jake. You'll wind up doing a dime and sing sing see. If you're gonna talk like an old detective movie, can we at least get subtitles? Don't worry. I'm just gonna talk to her very calmly and politely. Who the heck do you think you are? I know, I know. I'm sorry. What kind of... You sorry? Carver, I really do maybe kind of like you. But I... That call was Candy's idea. I was afraid if I didn't do it, she'd make fun of my feelings, you know? Yeah, I guess. Your feelings can be pretty embarrassing. Like, I used to cry every time I heard the national anthem. Yeah. And I used to be so afraid of the dark, I had to sleep with my parents until I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser! Carver slept with his parents till he was eight! <laughs> Dude, that was harsh. Why, that dirty low-down double-crossing fail! Until you were eight? Okay, how can I get back at Christy for humiliating me? That jingle brain twist needs a pair of cement overshoes. Well, there's always the hide an angry weasel in her locker plan. It's an old one, but it never fails to please. <gasps> I was thinking more along the lines of tactical thermonuclear weapons. Let's try a more practical approach. We can start with what we know about Christy. I know she's a huge fan of that boy band, Rhythm Street. I know she enters tons of those magazine contests. I know she's mean as a braided snake. All very informative. Uh, except for that braided snake thing, I don't Hold know. Hold on. 
I'm having an idea. Alert the media. What if Christy won a contest to hang out with one of the Rhythm Street guys? There is no contest like that. Sure, but that day meant to so many she'd never remember all of them. It's perfect. She wins a contest to to go to the beach with Lonnie from Rhythm Street. Hey, maybe she has to meet him in the mall in full snorkeling gear. Yes! It's simple, it's elegant, and it offers maximum humiliation potential. Gangbusters, Jackson! Great idea, Pickle Toes. Yeah. I don't know. He's gonna do that voice of reason thing again. Sure, Christy deserves it, but revenge doesn't seem right. Told you. Does it seem right to let her walk all over me? Does it seem right not to stand up for myself? Well, maybe not. Case closed. We'll write a letter to Christy saying she won the contest. This is gonna be great! Wah! Sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind, and sometimes it's just for fun. Um, is this dinner or a science experiment? Go on. It won't bite you. That works out nicely, since I don't plan to bite it either. Okay, what's up? How do you know something's up? Oh, it just seems like you always have some kind of problem by Saturday night. Well, there's this girl, Christy, and she totally humiliated Carver, like twice in a row. And, well... And now Carver wants revenge. Wow. That mind-reading thing may be annoying, but it sure saves time on explanations. You know, when I was a kid, my mom was so good at it, I almost never had to talk. I'm just trying to think of something I can say to Carver that doesn't sound as corny as two wrongs don't make a right. How about, he who takes the moral high road never gets stuck in traffic. Okay. I think your cooking may have military applications. Watch it. Okay, here we go. Carve, I know it sounds corny, but two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, well, one wrong doesn't make a right either. At least two wrongs will make me feel better. But you... Too late. Nothing to do now but sit back and watch the fun. Yeah, give that skirt the business, Ace. They say revenge is a dish best served cold. Yeah, just like chugger freezes. Jesus, here she comes. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> you won't think it's so funny when Lonnie from Rhythm Street shows up. I'm going snorkeling with him. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Ah, revenge is sweet. <laughs> Holy smokes, check out the waterworks. I've got a weird feeling inside. That would be your conscience. Oh, man. I thought I finally got rid of that thing. <laughs> What's his beef? I guess he just couldn't stand to watch. <laughs> hey, look! Pardon me, excuse me, it, it, is there a Christy Wilson here? Yes? Lonnie is very sorry to have kept you waiting. His limousine is right this way, ma'am. She is going snorkeling with Lonnie. Ooh. Wait, does this mean there really was a contest? I don't think so. That guy wasn't a chauffeur. He works at the costume store. Yeah, and I had to give him two weeks allowance to pull that stunt. Plus, I'm gonna have to pay for the stupid chauffeur's hat. I'm proud of you, Carve. Proud enough to pay for the hat? Not a chance. Figured. Well, maybe it wasn't cheap, but you did the right thing. Kudos, Carver. I had to do it. I mean, bad enough she was crying, but I thought to myself, if I go through with this, she'll have to do something worse to me, and then I'll have to do something worse to her. I mean, where's it gonna end? Now I figure she's gotta be nice to me. Hey, Carv, Christy just posted this audio file on the internet. You can call me Pickle Toes anytime you want, baby. Uh... That skirt really dry gulched you, Jasper. I have an idea. 
How about we never speak of this again? You got it, Pickle Toes. Okay, yeah, but yeah, Carver did the right thing, and he still got burned. But if he hadn't, he'd be just as big a skis as Christy, wouldn't he? Now go climb your thumbs, you palookas. Translation, later days.